Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I am sharing some really easy Dollar Tree Easter DIYs that you can do to decorate your home for Easter. These are all, like I said, really easy and pretty and just perfect way to add some Easter and spring decor in your life without having to spend a lot of money. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, so for the first DIY, I took this candle plate from Dollar Tree and I also took this candlestick. The candle plate was already spray painted because I used it for a different project. I also used this egg candle, also from Dollar Tree, and some of the reindeer moss, again, from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna stop saying from Dollar Tree because pretty much everything, no, it all was from Dollar Tree. So I just spread the moss out and then I took these little eggs. They come in a pack. You'll see the pack later in the video. I forgot to show it right there. But it's just a pack of these little, gli not glittery, like gold and pink eggs. They also had them in different colors. I bought a lavender plant from Dollar Tree for another project and I had some left over. So I just took the tops off of it and added it into the moss. And I love the way that this turned out. I'm going to actually make another one of these, but I still need one more candlestick, so that's why there's only one. But I think this would be really pretty if you made two and put it on a table, or just made one and put it in a special area. For my next DIY, I took some of this green grass and this candle holder, and I just shoved some of the green grass right in there. Then I took some eggs that I had on, on hand. These I actually had, they were from Target, and I stuck some of those in there. Obviously Dollar Tree has a bunch of them too, and these are those gold and pink eggs that I was talking about that I used. And the other DIY, I also used them in this because there's a bunch that come in there. I played around with this quite a bit. I wasn't sure if I wanted all small eggs, big eggs, or a mixture, and I ended up doing a mixture. I made two of these but I made a different base for each bottom. I had a diamond wrap to the top of this candlestick to give it more of a glam look. And for the other candlestick, I added some of this to give it more of the rustic farmhouse kind of feel, but keep it with the clear so it's kind of like a farmhouse chic feel. And this is how these turned out. I think they turned out so pretty. I'm using these in two separate areas. That is why I did them differently, but you could obviously do them the same and add them into um, the same area, or you could do them differently and stack one on top of the other and make them different heights. For my next DIY, I'm taking this candle holder and this lavender plant, which is what I used again in the first one, and this ceramic bunny, and some more of the reindeer moss. I'm just taking the bunny out, and I'm using the bunny as it is. It has that string at the top. You can just pull it out, and it comes right out. You could repaint the top if you wanted. It leaves a little mark, but it's not very noticeable, so I just kept it in there. I added the reindeer moss into it and then set the bunny in how I wanted it and kind of just moved it around and positioned it the way I wanted it to look. Then I took a little bit of the lavender and just stuck one of them inside of um, the candle holder with the bunny. Then I took this candlestick also from Dollar Tree, added a little bit of moss at the top of it, and then I set the candle holder right on top. And oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. It looks so cute. So I added one more little lavender to the bottom and I just love the way that this turned out. I actually ended up doing two of these and they look so perfect in the area that I have them in. For my next DIY, I took this adorable bunny basket, a flower pot from Dollar Tree, some styrofoam, 
and then I took some flowers that I thought would be pretty inside the basket and added them in there. Obviously you could use any kind of greenery or flowers you wanted and I think it just adds such a pretty touch. Shout out to all my subscribers who left a comment saying I should add some flowers into the bunny basket. So glad I did it. For my next DIY I took this grass with the eggs and then two bunches of the onion grass and I literally stuck it in a vase that I already had on hand. So obviously Dollar Tree carries vases or if you already have a vase on hand you can just use that. I tied some Easter ribbon around it and voila a little Easter arrangement that I think turned out so pretty and elegant and I absolutely love it. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these Easter DIYs. Leave in the comments below which one was your favorite. I hope you all enjoyed. I will also link down below if you're interested in seeing the Easter DIYs that I came up with last year as well. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!